If you've ever heard the quote from comedian Bill Hicks, Today a young man on acid realized that all matter is merely energy condensed to a slow vibration, that we are all one consciousness experiencing itself subjectively. During my last LSD trip, I was that young man. I experienced what might be understood as past life regression or some type of Jungian archetypal story of the collective trauma of our species. And I really did realize at an experiential level that we are all one consciousness experiencing itself through all life forms in all times and places. And that if we take this truth seriously, then by logical implication, literally everything that you do to others, you do to yourself. Thus, I also realized that if everybody could see what I was seeing in that moment and experience it on the same profound spiritual level that I was experiencing it, then we indeed would never go back to our old ways of hurting and hating each other ever again, because we would know that if we did, then we would only be causing suffering for ourselves. Plus, since psychedelic substances under certain circumstances have also been reported to allow people to telepathically communicate with each other, if enough of us could get together, experiment with these psychedelic substances together, and gradually perfect a technique of taking these psychedelics that will allow us to have this same experience of our one consciousness, and to telepathically communicate with each other during this experience, so that we can see directly into each other's minds and confirm that we're all witnessing and experiencing the same thing, then not only would we know that we are one consciousness and should never cause suffering for each other, but we would all know that we all know this. So then we would all recognize it as our shared responsibility to live in accordance with this truth, since we would no longer be able to pretend that we don't know it. These psychedelic substances also, in general, enhance our sense of empathy, so we would all form an even stronger empathetic bond with each other to help make this world as good of a place as possible for all of us. Because during these psychedelic experiences, we can also telepathically communicate to each other all of our other understandings of what the metaphysical truths of the universe are, what the current facts of human civilization are, and what needs to be done in order to stop all the world's suffering. We will all share these ideas with each other as clearly as we each understand these ideas within our own minds, so that we all objectively recognize which out of all of our beliefs are most logically tenable, which of our beliefs none of us can form an honest argument against. Thus, we will all reach an honestly understood consensus on what is objectively true about the world and what needs to be done in it. And again, not only will all of this become equally well known to us, but we will also know that we all have this exact same understanding. Thus, we will all hold each other accountable for acting in accordance with our worldview consensus and plan of action, and our deepened sense of empathy for each other will also motivate every one of us to act in accordance with this consensus ourselves. This consensus of ours will also include the understanding of how to spread this telepathic connection to more people, so that they also experience our oneness of consciousness, realize that we should never be violent toward each other, share in our consensual understanding of everything that needs to be done in order for us not to cause or allow each other to suffer, and actually help us do all of these things. And the more people who join this telepathic connection of ours, the easier it will become to spread this telepathic connection to even more people even faster, since we will all be putting our minds together and enhancing our collective understanding at an ever-accelerating rate. This spreading of this telepathic connection can be done not only through the use of more psychedelics, but through technological brainwave synchronization as well. Neuroscientist Michael Persinger of Laurentian University in Sudbury, Ontario, Canada, gave a lecture explaining that when two people are wearing specially designed helmets that pulsate an electromagnetic wave across their heads, getting their brains to vibrate at the same frequency, then it is shown through experiments that these two people become able to communicate telepathically with each other. So this technology can be used as well. We can find the right people to provide or redesign these same helmets for us, and use these helmets in combination with our psychedelics to enhance the clarity of our telepathic connection even more. 
and then we can also work together to further advance this technology to make it even easier to spread this telepathic connection to others. We can take this brain helmet and re-engineer it into a device that sends out this same electromagnetic wave remotely so that it synchronizes the brain waves of an entire group of people within a certain distance from the device without these helmets having to be placed directly around every one of our heads. This would also get these new groups of people to telepathically communicate with us, to join this mental unity of ours. And in order to ensure that this electromagnetic wave technology succeeds in making us all feel as much empathy for each other as possible, we can also develop it so that it synchronizes all of our heartbeat frequencies as well, since the activity of the physical human heart is indeed strongly tied to our sense of well-being and our sense of empathy for each other. And when the heart vibrates at a higher, purer frequency, it has the ability to raise and to stabilize both the heartbeat frequencies and the brainwave frequencies of other people, thus fostering empathy within these pe other people. So if we can amplify this ability of our hearts with the help of this technological electromagnetic wave, then we can be sure to get as many people onto our wavelength as quickly and effectively as possible. Then, as this mental unity spreads to more and more people more and more quickly, we can continue building upon this technology even more until we eventually have devices the size of towers that can send out this electromagnetic wave to areas as large as entire cities, thus telepathically connecting huge segments of the population. And we can continue building these towers until eventually all humanity is brought into this mental unity and becomes just as empathetic and understanding of the world as we are. The end result then would be that every single person on earth would understand all the most accurate truths of this world and what needs to be done in it. Plus, we will all fully empathize with each other, fully desire for each other not to suffer. And so again, we will all be motivated to actually do what we all understand needs to be done in order to best respect each other's needs for basic overall satisfaction with life. This mental unity, therefore, would be the path of least resistance to attaining world peace because all of us already good people of the world would come together to empower each other at the deepest spiritual level, and then we would act as one to spread our refined love and wisdom to everybody else as quickly and efficiently as possible, without having to waste any more time verbally arguing with these people. So if you recognize the goodness of this mental unity and want to help begin the process of creating it, here's how you can do so. My name is Elijah Osborne, and I currently reside in Las Vegas, Nevada, United States. If it is at all within your means to travel here anytime soon, please contact me and let me know so that we can meet in person and begin the process of forming this telepathic connection using psychedelics. My contact information is in the description of this video. You can also let me know where you're located, and I will let you know if I ever get a chance to travel there to meet you so we can begin the same process. Also, if you have any prior experience of telepathically communicating with people on psychedelics, please contact me and let me know about this experience so that we have more information to go off of about which psychedelic substances might be best for forming this telepathic connection and under what circumstances. Please also contact me if you have any way of providing any of the following. Psychedelic substances with which we can attempt to form our initial telepathic connection. The previously mentioned electromagnetic brainwave synchronization technology with which we can further enhance the clarity of our telepathic connection the scientific knowledge and or the engineering skills to further research and develop this brainwave synchronization technology in the ways described previously, land or property on which we good people of the world can gather together to form our initial telepathic connection using these psychedelics and brainwave synchronization technology, land or property on which we can further research and develop this brainwave synchronization technology, 
land on which to eventually develop this technology into the form of towers to spread our telepathic connection to large segments of the human population, materials with which to build and further develop this technology, laboratory authorization for any necessary people or organizations who can further develop this technology, and lastly, money to put aside into a fund to help with acquiring any of these other things. And there's absolutely no pressure on any particular person for the money. Just if you happen to have a large surplus, which you wish to put toward a benevolent purpose. And I will fully disclose the use of any and all money that may eventually be donated to this cause. If you cannot provide any of these things or meet in person with me, then please at least do the following. Please share this video with as many people as you can who also wish for the world's suffering to stop, especially anybody who can provide any of these things or meet in person with me, so that this idea eventually spreads to enough of these people indeed. In order for this mental unity to be created, we good people of the world have to actually follow these steps to unite behind this cause and make it a reality. Everything I've explained so far is just an outline of what needs to be done. The remaining details need to be filled in through our continued communication and collaboration with each other. If there's any part of this video that doesn't make sense to you, please listen to my other videos in which I attempt to explain this proposal for mental unity. The link to these other videos of mine is also in the description of, these vi of, the of this video. If your questions or concerns still are not addressed in any of these other videos, then please contact me and let us reach a mutual understanding. Also linked in the description of this video is the aforementioned lecture by Michael Persinger, Evidence that Psychedelic communi Telepathic Communication Can Take Place on Psychedelics, Information About the Power of the Heart, and my video playlist of research videos containing several more hours of eye-opening information to consider about the truth of this world and what needs to be done in it, and what we can indeed get done through the creation of this mental unity. Because everything that you desire for the world, this is how to literally get every single person on earth to acknowledge these perspectives of yours for their true logical merit and to act accordingly. The same goes for every other potential solution to any particular problem in the world. This mental unity is the way to ensure that all such solutions that deserve to be implemented actually become implemented to the fullest possible extent. This mental unity is the meta-solution, the solution for every single other solution, because this mental unity is the direct undermining of all humanity's ignorance and selfishness which currently prevents these solutions from being implemented. And again, this includes all of your potential solutions. So again, please listen and follow through with everything that I am saying here, so that we can truly help each other to make this world as good of a place as it can and absolutely needs to be. Thank you.